You know, building a bridge 50, 100 years ago, baseline knowledge was enough, and as a matter of fact, today it is a totally different thing. The demand for the numbers of engineering skills and talents has been on the rise, but as a matter of fact, we can feel this here in Russia. Though Russia is a competitive country vis-a-vis -vis advanced uh, countries. Today, in China, about uh, 90% of the universities have the engineering discipline. Roughly one third of the total undergraduates and graduates at university taking engineering programs. The scale of China's engineering education has become the largest in the world. It is now the biggest challenge to China to improve the quality of the engineering education. Reform on the engineering education system was launched so, that, so as to ensure the large amount of qualified engineers can be trained who can meet the demands of industrial development in China and help the countries to transform from large manufacturing country into innovative country. The key words in the, in the world today is the uh, holistic approach for project management, system management, uh, program management. Uh, we need the involvement of the government, private sector, mainly industry, and academia. Without these three, it cannot work. And the goal is that the 21st century engineer in Russia will lead to a significant impact for the business, for the company, and for the performances of the company. But uh, the word engineer in the uh, European uh, languages came f uh, comes uh, from uh, uh, geni of Latin, which is a genius, so uh, engineer in French, uh, that is a person who invents the, something based on the, his or her skills and I think we need to give this uh, meaning back to the profession of engineers so that uh, the engineering profession would be uh, really associated with talent, with innovations uh, and with uh, non-traditional thinking.